Hello Leo, this is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration here for your March 2019 reading. I know it is a little late, Leo. I do apologize. This is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, so if this does this is a general reading as well, so if this does not resonate. Please see your other signs as soon as they are uploaded. For my um, first timers here, welcome. Thank you for coming to the channel. Please do consider liking and subscribing to this channel should you hear something you like. Um, or even if you hear something you don't like, but you know I'm just telling it to you like it is. Uh, for my frequent flyers, buckle up. You guys know you never know for sure what we're going to say today. What message is going to be given to you for March and everyone notice down in that corner is the card cam so we're going to use the um, star child tarot for the main general reading so that's the card those are the cards that I'm using and we're going to put them in the card cam as they come out and then we may use We may use the Archangel deck if it so warrants it. Um, overall energy for March, we have the Nine of Crystals. Leo, um, happy in general with your life. If um, if you're single, happy with your singlehood. If you're not single, just generally happy with where you are and who you are. Finally, really finding your place, finding your space, really being comfortable in your own skin. Um Hopefully getting out of this feeling of needing to really please others. Um, and here you are, the strength card. Leo, all your glory, okay? Although March is not necessarily your month with uh, it being very strong water energy, I do feel like you're wrapping up some, some issues and some things that have been plaguing you for quite some time. And we're going to find strength to get out of it. We do have the Eight of Wands, so there's going to be forward movement. Um, and this is going to be, this is going to require some contemplation on your side with the four of cups as well. So let's see where the rest of the reading takes us. Now coming into towards you is this knight of wands. Okay. This very kind of fast moving energy while, um, fire energy while we are, in the midst of uh, Mercury retrograde, this could be very interesting. So really pay attention to um, thoughts, patterns, people, that passions that come into your life. Um, the, those that are coming towards you right now, some of these things are not permanent. Some of these things are quite transitional um, and not meant to be permanent. Yeah, you need to be very careful with the Knight of Crystals. Because people that kind of are just popping into your life with the five of crystals, I, 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 if you put too much stock into them, Leo, right now that are just kind of entering into your world, uh, this is the five of cups, excuse me, five, five of cups energy. Uh, it's going to be overwhelming. I, I, I feel like they're going to come in like a flood. It, they're going to appear like uh, they really want to be with you or these passions are going to appear to be something you should really act on but be careful and analyze them so you don't and and and, and try not to get overwhelmed by how beautiful they look try not to get overwhelmed by the optics try not to get overwhelmed by the overall feeling right try not to um, otherwise, I think if, if you really put too much into it right now and say, oh, this is beautiful, this is awesome, you will you will potentially by the end of the month be very disappointed. Um, so be careful, all right? You're bringing into this month, the energy you're bringing in is Ace of Crystals. Brand new starts, Leo. You guys are really wanting to manifest um, a holistic, um, wonderful life. And you're ready, like you're ready to take a hold of this manifestation, this life purpose energy, and really just take a hold of it. Um, you're looking at, I would advise you to go back and also take a look at the Akashic Records um, so you don't repeat history. 
Um, this is a good month to clear karma. This is a good month to look back and say, oh, wow, I could have done that just a little differently. Man, that would have been better, right? And, um, and really be like, you know, okay, let me make peace with this person. Let me make peace with myself. And we don't want to go back over the same things all the time. We've got um, potential Pisces here with the moon. But there's a lot of secrets that you that are going to come out of these Akashic records. That you may are like, oh, this is like the secret that's going to unlock for me. Why new beginnings up until now hasn't haven't really worked. Yeah. How amazing is that, right? How absolutely amazing is that? So, um, wow. This could be and should be a very cathartic, freeing month for you. Where you're finally able to shake off old ways, old narratives, and really come into your own. Remember that Nine of Crystals? really come into your own something to watch out for eight of crystals you know what this is telling me watch out for kind of like you're gonna need to work all right and with the seven of wands so you're gonna need to put in some work so that means with the seven of wands you need to set up some proper boundaries so people don't take up too much of your time Okay, I think there's a lot that needs to be accomplished this month, and it's going to take all the strength and the energy that you can possibly muster. So be very, very, yeah, look, the awakening card. Oh my gosh, Leo. So there's spiritual work that, that's being done, and, and just, oh my gosh, just opening you up to new realms. New realms. New ways of living, Leo. Really be open to that. And there's work that has to be put in because as you're clearing out all the old and we're replacing it with new and like lightening our load and rising and awakening, there's work that's got to be put into it. It's not just that simple and easy. So be very, put boundaries on people and your time put boundaries on people wanting to like just feed a lot of negative and energy into you and all of that stuff man don't let all that stuff that negative energy that negative space in Leo don't do that finally the advice six of swords man leave behind everything that's not serving you uh, travel man travel to new heights deeper depths Walk away from the ish. Walk away from the craziness. Walk away from the negativity. Walk away from the people that don't value you. Yep, four of crystals. Do not, however, spend a whole lot of money. Be some be selfish. Don't keep yourself wide open for everybody just to know how you're feeling. And be able to walk all over that big Leo heart. Yep. Now, this came out sideways, the Three of Cups. It kind of jumped out. Let me tell you something. If there are relationships that are trying to get started or potential or people, there could be somebody else in the background. Also, though, temper your, your celebrate, celebratory time. Temper your fun time. Put it kind of down a little bit because, like I said, you got some work to do. And, and we can't have fun all the time, Leo. We want to, but we can't have fun all the time. All right? So just know that you need to be a little careful about that. Okay, Leo? I think this is a fabulous reading for you. Very highly um, spiritual, very highly awakening. Love. Let me turn this one off. Yeah, that's a little bit better. All right, we're going to get a couple of cards of advice from our Power Archangel deck. So two cards of it. Okay, that was quick, hey? All right, here we go, Leo. The Magician. 
Yay! Archangel Raziel, you can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. That Ace of Crystals. And also the Ten of Raphael, which is the Ten of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members. Happily ever after. I absolutely love this. And look, I think there's a relationship on the way here. Right? A partnership with the Two of Raphael, which is the Two of Cups as well. Two hearts dedicated to creating something wonderful. Kindred spirits, don't give up on those you love. Be very careful, though, because right behind that, remember what I said? Be very careful. There's going to be people that are going to be coming in and out of your life. Because we also have the three of Michael. All right. That's released the past. This is the three of swords. You will grow from this situation. Time heals all wounds. So do you also be careful of some heartbreak. And then we're going we're gonna to have the four of Michael as well, which is the four of swords. Insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off, seek relief from stress. So be careful, all right? Be very careful. Okay. All right, Leo, that's what I have for you. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Um, also down below, leave me some comments. I'd love to hear how this resonated with you. And um, also the links down below will give you the link to my website, heartofinspiration.net. That there you can find ways to work with me via coaching, via energy work, or um, reading. Also, the link to my conference, the workshop, spiritual workshop in April, 12th through the 14th, Propel into Purpose. Be there. The energy in the room is palpable when I get when we get to come together. We just had a mini workshop here um this past weekend in akron ohio uh march 8th through the 10th and the energy in the room was tangible and it was transformative i can only imagine when we get a huge group of us together what that's going to be like if you are ready to launch yourself into your life purpose you need to be here in madison wisconsin april the 12th through the 14th all right guys i will see you in one of my lives i'm sure peace love blessings and joy be unto you today tomorrow and for all eternity i love each and every one of you namaste bye bye beloveds